back in a blue tractor. It's um, Monday the 6th of September and I'm back in New Holland. Got a Bailey trailer on the back and we are carting for my neighbour Martin. Uh, he's on some peas today. So that's what we're on today. He's got some peas to do today and then some spring wheat. We've got some winter wheat before that to do as well still. Um, Dad is combining for another neighbouring farmer, finishing a bit off for him. I'm not needed over there. He catches his own grain. So I'm just helping Martin today because we've got to haul the peas back. Um, quite a bit on the road so hopefully be able to keep the combine going he did 20 acre of peas yesterday and it looks like they're doing I should think a ton and a half two ton an acre which is better than ours so um, it's looking good for him but anyways we're in a new Holland uh, T7 210 we might be in a T6 later we might be in a John Deere 6130R later and a John Deere 6155R as well. So I think today we're loading trailers up. We're not emptying any today, we're just loading trailers up. We'll probably empty them in the morning. But uh, we've got 40 acre. I, mean, I don't think we'll get that done today because the peas are a bit flat. I have to go a bit slow. But we shall see. So this tractor is the equivalent basically to that case puma 175 i have even though it said 210 on the bonnet of this it's actually probably 180 horsepower boosted to 210 i think but just because we're familiar with this and the simplicity of that joystick and everything else in this cab um i prefer it i just i just prefer it I don't need a fancy gearbox. Uh, you know, these these Fen farmers don't need a fancy gearbox. We just want to clunk, chunk, and go, and then we'll be alright. But uh, no, don't get me wrong. I like the case, but I still like the New Orleans. the field of peas which is a, a big old field plus they look a bit flat as well but uh, they're very ready to cut we sprayed these off the roundup good couple of weeks back now but we just haven't had the weather so um, we'll get a good chunk hopefully done I said hopefully again um, get a good chunk of this cut today we shall see no talents. Most people, most people have done harvest now, what I've seen on social media. We've still got a fair bit to uh, to haul back, to uh, to cut, both the TX62, RTX62, and Martin's uh, CX870. So that's got a 20 foot cut on it, very feed. Smart looking bit of kit. change of plan um, the peas are taking a long while to get a tank full to cut 
gives it a flat on the four. Um, the combine, the combine headers right against the floor, trying to scrape them up. So it's taken a long while to get trailer full. Dad is um, he's done on the neighbouring farmers. So me and Dad are going to drop into some wheat, another wheat field. Did two wheat fields yesterday. We're going to drop into another wheat field for Martin. Uh, but first, I'm just going to hook on to another trailer. And then we should be catching wheat, carting wheat for, uh, for Martin, putting it in his grain store. Not too much of an exciting video, but hopefully we get some combine action later on. going down a proper fen road now so I've got this little 10 ton gully trailer on the back give it a sweep out um, last used on the spuds I think we borrowed it actually from Martin for um, carting spuds so I'll just give that a sweep out now down the field Stay hydrated. This might be a uh, midweek or Saturday video. Not sure yet. Depends what time I get. Say for all your fruit. Yeah, yeah. I can't even speak now. I must say, for you farmers who watch this, or anybody who watches this, really. Yes, the price of wheat. The price of barley is good. Uh, the price of all seed rate is good. If you've still got some left to sell. Price of peas, I think that's up as well. But what everyone doesn't realise is everything else has gone up in price. Fertiliser's gone up. Seed's gone up. The chemical price has gone up. So there's too many people in the agriculture industry who are taking a piece of the pie as such so if the price of grain's good oh the seed company want a bit more for the seed or well, the fertilizer company wants a bit more of the fertilizer so it just goes in an absolute snowball and the farmers are still left off in the same situation as what we were in i think last year we looked at some of the prices and they were the same we were getting the same, if not less, money for grain than what my granddad was God knows how many years ago. So, who's taking the money? Who is taking the money? And why are the prices still the same as they were in 1950? It's, yeah, that's what some people don't realise. <laughs>
Mercy fans. Anyway, so uh, I shouldn't complain. Uh, anyway, we're going to carry on cutting. Uh, got a fair bit to do for Martin yet, so there'll be more harvesting videos. Hopefully, we'll get two combines in one field. But for now, we'll see you later. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and yeah, catch you later. Thanks for watching. Ta. Ah. Looks like mother's here with the tea. We'll see you later.